Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Larry Adams. I'm going to be doing a demonstration of Aggregate 1.0. Before I do so, I just wanted to explain a few things with Aggregate 1.0. And that is, first of all, if you are a prior user of Aggregate, you must uninstall and reinstall Aggregate. Uh, this is required to apply new uh, settings and parameters. And when this is done, you will lose all color template information. So if you have color templates, if you've set up color templates, you want to back those up prior to reinstalling Aggregate. Aggregate 1.0 is template based as is much of Cacti so uh, the first thing you do when you install Aggregate 1.0 is create templates. Templates are based upon graph template and look traditionally like a the normal create aggregate interface. Okay, So there's no differences there from what you're used to seeing. Uh, once you uh, have created templates you can then add aggregates from the graph management page as you would normally do. Uh, the exception would be here the difference rather between the current uh, ag the current uh, aggregate 0.7 interface and aggregate uh, 1.0 is that you now have uh, two options instead of one at the um, graph management page and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, bring this out so you can see you know all of the graphs here. So simply, as you uh, as you would in the past, you would select all of the graphs that you wanted to create for the aggregate, and then from the drop down you have create aggregate graph, which will look similar to what you've seen in the past, and you have now a new option to create from template. And so this speeds the aggregate creation process. But what's also nice about this is it gives us the ability then to manage the aggregates based upon a template. So let's take a look here at some aggregate graphs that have been created already. Here we have three aggregates and they're all based upon interface uh, bits per second. We have an inbound uh, template and we have an outbound template for this particular three aggregates. Now if I edit an aggregate you'll see that now instead of seeing the traditional graph management page um, and under a graph edit you see more of a template page where you can see that being that this is template based that propagation is enabled and therefore all this information is grayed out. You do have the ability to change the title, the size, other uh, objects associated with the graph which you would normally see in graph management but the aggregate templating itself is maintained by the template. The, the next thing you'll see here is that we do have a sub tab interface and if you click on items you'll see all of the graphs that happen to be a part of the template. Right now you see all the graphs in the system which there's 26,000 interface graphs but if you want to see those that are associated with the aggregate you simply click the checkbox and you'll see that this particular aggregate has eight member graphs and of these member graphs you can if you want to remove a member graph from the aggregate you simply select the aggregate graph member and then you disassociate with aggregate. That's it. No more recreating, deleting, and recreating the aggregate graphs in this version of aggregate. In addition we've provided complex boolean searches so you have for example UR01 and we'll put a bracket around here UR01 or UR02 and uh, 10GE and you can see that my boolean search is respected as you would expect. Okay. So that's the new uh, component here. The last uh, thing that I'll show you is the preview tab, which is no different than what you'd see normally in aggregate, which gives you a preview of the particular aggregate in question. So here we have it. You can see that we do have an aggregate graph. We have the each individual component of the aggregate graph shown, their traffic shown, as well as the total traffic uh, both in both uh, current and maximum over the time period here. These graphs can be placed upon the uh, graph tree uh, as you would normally do with the cacti simply going to the aggregate graph area and from the drop down you can see we can place on our particular tree. So there you go. So this is aggregate 1.0. Have a nice day.